Hi everyone, welcome to Personal Finance Circle. In this video, I will be showing you the step-by-step -step guide on how to register on Trove and verify your investment account easily. Now, in case you don't know, we already have a video on how to invest on the Trove investment app and how to use the app. You can check the link to that video in the description of this video. Now to how to register on the Trove investment app. The first thing you need to do is to tap the first link in the description of this video to register on the app and it will take you to the website you are seeing on the screen now once it takes you here the first thing you need to do is to enter the email address you want to use for this account so once you enter the email address you tap on continue right here and right here you are going to enter your phone number you create a password and choose your nationality and enter your referral code if you have any referral code so under the referral code you enter pfny x6 if you use our referral code you'll be getting up to 50 dollars worth of free stocks in your portfolio so once you've done all of this you tap on continue right here now the next thing is otp verification so you enter the six digit code sent to your email address to verify your account so you check your email for the six digit that has been sent and you enter it right here so once you've entered the code you tap on verify right here and you can see that you are almost done you can complete your profile information or explore trove now and do this later so you can see that you've created your account so the next thing is your income and trading experience and your identity verification you can decide to skip this step two and step three and continue checking out the trove app but you won't be able to invest in stocks if you don't do the step two and step three so let me show you how you can do that so the next thing is tap on income and trading experience and then right here they will ask you for your employment status which is if you are employed or unemployed or self-employed or retired or a student so you pick whichever option applies to you and then the next thing right here is your funding source so what this means is that where are you going to be getting the money to invest is it from your employment a gift of inheritance savings or retirement funds so you pick any of the option that applies to you so let me pick employment so the next thing is what are your investment objectives so are you investing for long term infrequent frequent active daily or new so if you're investing for long term you tap on long term and the next thing is what is your current experience on investment so what they're asking is that how long have you been investing so what's your experience if you have been investing for one to two years three to five years six to ten years ten plus years or none so you pick whichever one applies to you so let's say for example you're a beginner you tap on none and then the next thing is your what is your annual income what is your current annual income so they are not asking you to enter the specific or the exact amount just pick the range that applies to you so if you are earning less than one thousand dollars annually you pick this if you are earning between one thousand dollars to five thousand dollars annually you pick this and you see the other options that you can pick right here so you pick whichever option applies to you so let me just pick this option right here one thousand dollars to five thousand dollars and then the next thing is what is your current cash net worth liquid net worth means cash net worth so what is the current cash that you have with you whether in your account or anywhere you have cash so you can just pick whichever cash you have with you so let's pick this option and then the next thing is what is your total net worth what is your total net worth your investment your cash everything minus your liability that's your net worth so you can just pick any option right here the next thing is what is your current risk tolerance so are you a low risk taker are you a moderate risk taker or speculation um risk taker or high risk taker so whichever one you are you pick so let's pick low what percentage do you currently pay as tax so if you are paying tax what percentage are you currently paying so let's say 15 percent and then once you've done all of this you tap on next so you can see that you've completed step two so the next step is your identity verification where you upload an id card or id number to confirm your identity now this is to confirm your verification and make sure that it is you who is registering on the app and not someone else who is trying to use your details to register so you tap on identity verification right here and then they will ask you for your gender which is male your inter male your marital status if you are single you pick single your date of birth you, you enter your date of birth right here and the next one is politically exposed or public figure what this means is that are you a or do you know a current or former politically exposed person or public official so if yes you enter yes if no you enter no next thing we ask you to enter your country your province your city your street number or if you have another street number and your postal code and then once you've done all of this 
you tap on continue and right here you see that your profile is 66 percent complete but we know you are just as excited as we are to start investing what do you think so the reason why it's showing 66 percent right here is because i've not entered my id card so once you enter your id card it's going to be 100 percent complete so once you've done all of this just tap on start using trove and then to take it to your trove account so you can see that you already have a trove account to yourself now you can see that at the right corner here is saying account not verified now for your account to be verified you need to upload your id card remember i didn't upload any id card in this video so you need to upload your id card whether your driver license national id card voters card or any kind of identity card that you have once you've done that your account will be verified between two to three working days so once it's verified you receive an email that your account has been verified and you can now start investing on the app don't forget in case you don't know how to deposit and withdraw your money on the app we have a video on that that will teach you how to withdraw and deposit money on the app and if you want to learn how to use the app we also have a video on that they are all in the description below thanks for watching this video and we'll see you guys in the next one bye